Hello everyone, nice to meet you, I hope you're enjoying the day. And today's episode is entirely dedicated to those of you who have or plan to have a Western digital hard drive and you might have experienced data loss or are just researching what to do in case of such. Anyway, that would be well spent time, let's go ahead and figure out how to recover data. Right, let's dive into the deep and figure out what to do in case we have any sort of troubles with our Western Digital Drives. It could be HD or SSD. Doesn't matter, the options and the ways we're going to use for recovering are quite similar. And in the meanwhile, if you enjoy this kind of practical data solutions, consider subscribing, because we do a lot of them here on the Recovery channel. Before showing you how to recover data, let's talk about Western Digital as a brand and why is it so popular? Essentially, they have a huge portfolio and they're known for good reliability and price performance conversion ratio. And they have HDs, SSDs. You can find pretty much anything that would be suitable to you. Now, since there are a lot of drives that Western Digital is selling each and every year, it could be that part of your data is residing on such one. Therefore, now we need to figure out when and why we could end up with data corruption or data loss. Among the top suspects, we're going to highlight things that we were also reviewing in some of our other episodes, but generally it could be you having accidentally deleted some files, or it could be an unexpected format, it could be errors caused due to unexpected power loss, errors due to a corrupt file system, some of the files may also disappear in case of malicious attack or a virus. And last but not least, if you use that as an external drive, well, could be some sort of physical connection issue. Regardless of what caused the data loss, we're going to help you to recover data from your Western Digital hard drive or SSD without any hassle. So when it comes to recovering data, there are two major paths that we can go. On one side we can visit a data repair center or the other option to try at home with a professional grade software. Well, in the times where we live, of course, we prefer to do everything from the comfort of home. Therefore, I'm going to show you how we can recover all the data you have lost using one of the best utilities on the market called Recoverit. First step, of course, is to download and install it on your computer. Then we launch the software and connect the hard drive to the computer. We wait for a few seconds until the hard drive icon appears and it's going to be visible under the external drive section in case you're attaching it through USB or it's going to be visible as part of your computer hard drives. After selecting the drive you want to recover data from, Click the Start button and this initiates the scanning process. It may take a while depending on the overall size of the drive. However, if you already see the files that you want to recover, you can also stop or pause the process. Once the scanning completes, Recovery will display a list with the scanned files. Choose these that you want to get back and click the Recover in the bottom right hand corner of the screen to save them on your computer. You can also press the Preview button in order to check a preview of the files before saving them. See, that was really easy to follow, simple to execute, and I sincerely hope that it brought all your lost files back. But there was the better case scenario where you have your drive recognized by the operating system, because in certain situations we could talk about challenges where we don't see at all the drive, no matter if you change the port or connect it, but wait for a second because we want to do some analytical thinking and some real-life troubleshooting. In case you're using an external drive, always the first thing you should do in case it's not visible in the operating system is to try to connect it with a different cable. If that works, great! Just rewind the video by a minute and a half and follow the tutorial I've just shown. If not, let's go ahead with the second option choosing a different USB port. Yes, just like the cable, the USB port could be the problem. And one of the ways how you can figure this out is by connecting the hard drive to another USB port. Try that and could be that this is your problem fix. 
As a next troubleshooting step, we're going to look into the software. After changing the cables and the USB port didn't fix the situation, let's try to go to the device manager, right click and navigate to drivers under the disk drives option, then select update and follow the on-screen instructions in order to install the latest drivers. If the Western Digital external hard drive still is not showing up, we go further. We can try changing the drive letter. So in order to do that, we right click on this PC, we select manage and we go to disk management. We finally right click the Western Digital external hard drive, select change drive letter and path. Then we assign a new drive letter to our external drive. We save all the changes and double check. Hopefully it's now fixed. If it's not and your Western Digital hard drive is still not showing up, then most likely we talk about a physical condition, so you might have to bring it to a repair center. But I think that no matter what, you now have an army of really good ideas that you can try in order to recover data or fix your not properly working Western Digital hard drive or SSD. And I truly hope that this episode was useful and helped you to recover your important data. If that's the case, give us a like. For more questions or ideas, I invite you to join the discussion in the comment section right below the video. My name is Michael from the recovery team. Been a pleasure and look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Bye.